Hello and welcome to Realistic Fishing. Now you may see that I'm smiling because I've caught some fish, yes! We caught some fish baby, we caught some nice flathead uh, and we're gonna do a catch and cook. So stay tuned to that, I've got a Japanese friend who's gonna cook up some secret recipes for us and uh, you're getting the inside scoop, <laughs> if you wanna call it that, on the Japanese style flathead here in the Maclay River. Let's get fishing. We're gonna have uh, the person that catches the first fish. Yep. Category. Then the person that catches uh, the most fish. Yep. Category. And then the largest catch. And we'll see who goes home with the trophy today. That's right. So this is Carl, Jimmy, and David. We're gonna have a little bit of a contest. See if we can catch some fish. Okay. So we geared up and got ready for the most ultimate competition of our life. Yeah. And during the middle of a deep and meaningful conversation, you wouldn't believe it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you saw that, bro? I saw that. Oh. Oh, yeah. Got, still got him, still got him. What is it? No, oh, it's a little flathead. Oh, is that first fish? First fish is in the back, Jack. <laughs> I just saw an Alex playing that. It's a fish. Yeah, one. Ew. First fish of the day. <laughs> you better not post that one, man. <laughs> well, at least you, you were casting right out behind that tree. Yeah, I thought maybe in the shade. He's sitting right there, don't step on him. Yeah. That's how they blend in. See how they just blend in? Right there. So just kind of drag your feet a little bit. Yeah, and they're not sharp. It's, it's a little bit like boggy, but it's fine. Take that, did you? <laughs> it's recording right now, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, I was just <laughs> Look at these little soldier crabs. It's near the Maclay River for some flathead. See if we can hook up using the dial with double clutch at the moment. And, um, yeah. Hey, Jimmy's got one. Hey, what do you got? Oh yeah, little one. You using a hard body lure? Oh nice, nice. Yeah, I've spooked a couple of flathead already. I've spooked a couple of flathead already. Really? Were you fishing the shade over there? Yeah, I think that's the spot. Oh, oh, yep, 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 yep. Yep, oh, that's a nice flathead. Nice flathead. Oh, 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 stay on, buddy, stay on. Good flathead, Jimmy. Oh. Nice flatty here. Just fishing with the Daiwa double clutch here in the Maclay River. 
done some fat sand flats and he's he's a goer, this flathead. Fishing here with uh, Carl and Jimmy. We thought we'd give this spot a go and uh, it's definitely paid off. This is our second fish. The first one was pretty small. This is a, this is a nice fish. You're looking about a 60 centimetre flathead. Probably 55, 60 centimetre flathead. I'll just beach him up on the, on the sand. Jimmy! Look at that, Jimmy! Woo. That's a nice flathead. We're gonna get the measuring tape out. Oh, yes. that 55. He's uh. Up here. 50, 56 centimeters, right there. That's a nice flathead. Pretty good eating size, I think. Nice fillets off him. Stay tuned for some uh, catch and cook flathead, McClay River. Let's do this. Here we go, folks. This flathead number two just hooked up. My camera was going flat, so I had to. Uh... Oh, he's not liking this. Now that he knows he's hooked. My uh, my camera was going flat, so I had to just turn it off until it hooked up again. But here we go, flathead number two. I might walk him over here. Hey Dave! Oi! I'm a big lizard. This one's a little bit smaller than the other one, but good size. I got him in the top of the head too, I think. You got, you got a fish too, Jimmy? Yeah! <laughs> the camera's just about to die. But uh, look at this beauty, right here. Look at that, nice flathead. Probably about 45 centimeters. Beautiful. So now we've got two flathead, I think it's time to do some, a bit of a catch and cook action. Jimmy's caught two small ones, I've caught a small one and two nice sized ones. And uh, we're gonna do some Japanese style uh, bread crumbing for these fish, so it should be nice. Davey boy just uh, caught a flathead. Oh, there we go. He's uh, probably just under legal. Oh, it might be just legal. Let's have a look at him. Bring him just up on the sand and I'll measure him. No, he's legal. Yeah, you could keep him if you wanted to. I'm gonna throw this little one back. He's only just legal. Yep, and... Ew. Oh, this flathead. Run the blade down, holding really tightly onto this, but keeping an angle on the skin. And uh, the skin just comes right off. Now, this is realistic fishing and realistic fiddling. I'm not the best at this, but it just goes to show, if you're new to it, you can do it too. A little bit of practice, and you get there. Okay. Beautiful flathead fillet. Now all we do is we cut the bones out, just so it looks like like this one. Cut that set the bone out. Woo! So here we are back at camp. As you can see, there's tents everywhere. We're here at Stewart's Point. And my friend Jimmy is cooking up. Right. He's putting self-raising flour in one container. All right, what do you got here? What's this one? Breadcrumbs? This is Japanese panko breadcrumbs. Japanese panko breadcrumbs. See if we can get that. Okay. There you yeah. go. Okay. Put some of that in there. Mm. Mix it up, some chopsticks. A little bit of secret ingredient. Ah, a bit of soy sauce in there. Soy sauce. Okay, so we've got soy sauce, mix it with the egg, punko breadcrumbs, self-raising flour, 
And where can you get those breadcrumbs from? Can you get them from, from Australia? Coles or Woolies. From, from Coles or Woolies in the in the, the Asian section. Asian section. Okay. Yeah. Um, for shallow frying, sunflower oil is the best, um, but because um, we don't have it, we're going to just use um, extra virgin olive oil. Let's dry in the fillets. Paper towel is the best, but we don't have it, so... Yeah. Okay, so self-rising flour first, okay? Yeah. Self-rising flour first. And then the tacos are the last, actually. Yeah. Go. Okay. In there of the fillet eh, Dave? You can see it's really nice. Alright, good soaking in the egg. Yep. And then into the panko breadcrumb. So the difference between the panko breadcrumb and the usual breadcrumb that you get in in the shops is that um this is more um, rough. It's not mm. as fine as the Australian um, breadcrumb. So okay. it gives that crunchy texture. Mm, so, mm. Um, yeah, if you like crunchiness, buy the panko. All right. It's ready to go. Okay, so here's the finished product. The panko shallow fries flathead. Lemon. Look at that. Okay, bon appetit. Jimmy, you are the man. You are the man. <laughs> so here we have this beautiful flathead that Jimmy's cooked up. A little bit of lemon. Oh, there we go. Break that flathead. Oh, look at that. It's a bit hot. Oh, it's just melting in your mouth mm. wow guys thanks for tuning in to realistic fishing it's been a fantastic episode a fun episode catching fish eating fish i hope you guys enjoyed remember you can click subscribe please click subscribe if you enjoyed the content check out my other videos by clicking up there you have a great day you have a great day keep fishing don't get too discouraged you'll catch fish eventually keep going bye <laughs> oh yeah, I won that competition too. <laughs> Hit subscribe.